this is just a quick overview video of the AeroSim flight simulator software in combination with the DJI Phantom 2. Um, you can see from these pictures that uh, I flew my Phantom and unfortunately I ran it into a few things along the way. And you're going to end up spending a lot of money on your Phantom and when you put a camera on the bottom like a GoPro and a gimbal you're going to double down on that money and so learning how to fly it before you crash it into something and wreck a few things is probably a good idea and AeroSim is a really good solution for that. Um, AeroSim does a lot of different flight simulators but in their latest release they added the Phantom 2. Um, this is a Windows based application. They say they can run in various Mac modes but I'm on a PC so I don't ask me any questions about the Mac but you can go to their frequently asked questions and get more detail there. Um, they do have a try and buy, so you can get it at their site here. It only runs for a couple of minutes before it shuts down, um, but it does at least give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, in order really to learn how to fly your Phantom 2, you're going to want to get a transmitter of one form or another. There are many transmitters out there with anywhere from four to nine channels. Um, the transmitter I got, I got a, at a local hobby shop. Um, it's a very simple Spectrum DX4. It just has four channels. I'm not trying to fly an airplane, so I don't care about flaps and rotors and landing gear and everything else. So um, just the very simplest has worked for me. It was inexpensive, but there's lots of options out there. And so it's up to you to find one that works well. Um, just make sure when you look at the transmitter that on the back, it has a plug-in. Uh, for training mode. The Phantom 2 controller does not have this plug-in so your Phantom 2 controller will not work with AeroSim. won't work with any flight simulator um, or quad simulator software so you're gonna have to get a transmitter somewhere. Um, in AeroSim, in order to get by the two-minute warning um, you can see at the bottom of the screen here that if you fly it without the um, dongle plugged in then you're gonna get the message that you can only fly it for two minutes um, when you buy it from them inside the packaging you will receive a USB cable that goes from the transmitter to your PC you'll connect it to the transmitter you'll connect the other side to the uh, to the computer and then this message goes away and you're good to go again very good simulator it uh, does a fantastic job of simulating the Phantom 2 I would highly recommend it